Vincent, professional to Vox, and uh, today I'm gonna do a review on one of my favorite figures ever made by Bandai, which is the SH Figure Arts Space Sheriff Shider. And this is only a web show, an exclusive released in Japan, and uh, I'm really excited to do a review on this. So let's get started. All right, so here is the packaging for Shider, and he comes with this uh, box right here, which is typical for all Japan exclusives. And uh, moving on to the, the main packaging, um, he has a glossy finish. As you can see, there's no window. Uh, usually, um, uh, Japan exclusives don't have windows in their, for their figures, uh, for their packaging. And um, there's a shider right there on the side. As you can see the Bandai's Collector Shop logo, Spare, Spatial Earth Shider logo right here. And um, it's a really nice packaging. I like it. And their shider name right there. And uh, everything's in Japanese. And uh, you can see the, the various uh, features it has that they show here. Um, Okay, and uh, if once you when you take out Chider, it comes in this plastic uh, packaging, and you can see it has the uh, three pairs of extra hands, two the two swords, the two laser blades, and the blue beam gun, and uh, an extra head, which features the the Shider scope uh, special ability. And uh, so let's take this guy out of the packaging. So here is Shider and his uh, um, accessories. Uh, let me tell you a little bit of uh, history about this guy, the reason and the reason why I bought him. I bought this uh, figure because uh, I was a big fan of the show way back in the 80s. And uh, I grew up in the Full Beams and I watched this show uh, every time it was on TV, I watched it at my friend's house, I watched it at my house, and we all, all the little kids would gather there, just watch the show. And uh, that's how big it was. And when I found out they were releasing a SA figure, figure Arts uh, Shider, I was really excited about it, you know. And I really had to get a hold of this uh, figure, no matter what the price was. But I got mine from Japan, and I got it for a decent price. And, and I'm really happy that I got it uh, last year, you know. Um, I wish I could have done a review earlier on this, but uh, it's better late than never. But uh, Shider was actually a show back in the 80s. From, it ran from 84 to 85 in Japan. And it's actually uh, one of many metal heroes. And uh, one of three, uh, the last of three uh, uh, Space Sheriffs that was released. There was Space Sheriff Galvan and Space Sheriff Sharvan, who, who was released before him. And um, those figure, SH figure arts are also released now, uh, get Gavin being the most expensive, and I have the Sharvan, I'll probably compare some, compare them, the size and the figures later on. But um, here's uh, Shider, and I really like this uh, figure, and as you can see, from the metal, from the paint, very metallic, and it's pretty clean, sleek, close up of the head right there. Um, it has a lot of uh, multiple points of articulation, which I really like. The head, any way you want, you can rotate any way you want. Arms, joints, uh, could I say, and uh, elbow articulation, which I really like when as a as a figure to make these figures, you know. And uh, there's also a joint here. It's also a ball joint actually, in this uh, waist area. And uh, you have the holster here for the video beam gun. Uh, and uh, the legs, you can actually expand it a little bit there. Knee joints, which I really like. Right there. And the ankle. And this is the problem with the, this one problem I have with it. It would have been awesome already if, uh, um, but this is the one thing that kind of uh, killed it for me. But I still like the figure. So as you can see, uh, most figures, can really move their ankles in different ways. But with this one, the, his part of his armor right here, this armor right here, kind of prevents him from from, make, from having your his foot uh, articulated. And it's very limited when you pose him. 
but you, you can still get a lot of uh, a variety of poisons. But those those this thing right here it just really uh, annoys me sometimes. But it's a great figure. I still like it. There's a there's a joint here by the toes. You know some some people complain that theirs is loose, but mine isn't. Mine is pretty good. You know and. Um, yeah, that's it for a figure. <clears throat> so for Shider's accessories, Shider comes with an extra head, uh, three pairs of uh, extra hands, two laser swords, and the video beam gun. All right, so let's check this out. As you can see, uh, this is the video beam gun, and it's it's like it looks like what it looks like in the show. It's a uh, it's really nice, you know, has a, little, a lot of detail on it. And um, he uses this uh, as one of his abilities, you know. And um, you can actually put that here in the holster, which is pretty cool. Right there. It's really nice right there. Nice. And um, for the extra head, it comes with already attached it because it was kind of like difficult to uh, put on. But as you can see, he has, he has the red eyes here. Um, it is actually a depiction of his uh, special ability called the, the Shider Scope, which he uses to uh, find uh, in enemies that are invisible. So I like that that they included it. Uh, yeah, so for the hands, you can just pop these off. And he has different pairs of hands. So this one just uses to, like, these are all open palms. And just, you can just make different poses with it and and this two right here are used for to to hold his uh, gun you know he has that uh, mold and this one these two actually are used to hold his uh, swords all right so so let's put one of each just it's, it's easy it just snaps on and you can put the video beam gun right there. So as you can see the finger like opens up right there. So it's a soft plastic. And it's pretty cool. So right there. You can hold it. Kevin put the finger right there. So. And then you can hold use the other hand to hold the sword. And all right, for the swords, the reason why there are two kinds is just one for the normal version that he uses when he fights. All right, it's nice. It has like a metallic silver on it finish, like that. Much. And this one, the reason this one being clear blue is because he uses that special ability called Blue Flash when he finish up, finishes his uh, enemies off. That's like his special ability. And let's put that. And there you have it. Can do multiple poses with him, which I really like. And there's a lot of articulation, so you can really do scenes and pose him like in the show. All right, so. That's uh, Shider right there. Okay, so here is the side-by-side -side comparison with Shiren on the left, and I have Shider on the right. And as you can see, they're both like uh, the same size, uh, as with the that's what that's really typical with the uh, SH figure arts. And um, with Shiren, he has the metallic red armor, which is pretty cool, you know. And uh, a lot of people actually like Shiren more than the the Shider figure. And it's pretty nice. And as you can see, also in the ankles, there's no nothing that hinders his uh, articulation. Um, and like in Shider's armor, he has those ankle uh, protectors that kind of limit him from from uh, from you guys from posing his uh, ankles. And here you can really move it freely, which is pretty cool, you know. And um, yeah, uh, right now actually, oops. Actually, I'm missing a, 
Gavin, which I I am looking forward to buying soon, and uh, hopefully I can get a hold of him at a decent price. You know, because these figures are not really cheap because they're not there. There's no U.S. version of these, and they they weren't really shown here in America. So I was very fortunate to get a grab of these. You know, from Japan. Um, if you can find these online, uh, go ahead and grab it before they go up in price. Uh, especially if you guys are fans of the show, you know. Uh, the reason again why I bought the, uh, Scheider because I grew up watching him, you know, and uh, I was in the Philippines and it was it was really uh, my childhood was really pretty cool. As we would always uh, we would always uh, pretend that we were Scheider, and uh, and. If you grew up in the Philippines in the 80s, and if you didn't know who Scheider was, you know, uh, shame on you guys. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. But um, you gotta know who Scheider is, you know, if you grew, grew up back there. So um, here are the two figures, and uh, thanks again for watching, and continue to support my 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 channel. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram at Fresh Off the Box, and then. I'm gonna continue doing more reviews for you guys, and uh, I have more uh, figures coming in from um, Japan, and I'll be doing reviews on those. So thank you again, and uh, enjoy. Oh, oh, oh.